Hi, Katie. Hi, Hello, Debbie. Everyone. I think we're live. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so I don't see, um, do you see the chat yet? I don't see any comments yet, but I can log in on my phone and, and double check too. Oh, I see Julie's here. Hi, yep. Julie. I see Julie and Christine at Side Street Market. <laughs> Yay. Here comes Peoples. Yay. Oh, there's, there's Jerry. Uh, Jerry. Yay. Yeah. I um I actually talked to her today on the phone. Oh, there's Jose. Oh, how wonderful, Debbie. Yeah, it was nice. Um, you know, we're gonna be living in the same state fairly close to each each other, so I thought it would be fun to um just chat a little bit. So yeah. That's exciting. I think once you move, you guys can go thrifting together. Yeah, talking about that. <laughs> and drag dragging the hubbies along, you know, her husband loves to go. And mine, mine awesome. I wouldn't say loves to go, <laughs> but he'll go. But he'll tolerate it. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Jose. Or, or is it Josie or Jose? I think she goes by Jose. Like Jose. French. Well, French. Okay, gotcha, Jose. Yeah. And she's Canadian, I believe. And people are loving our so road. I'm excited. Daddy. Oh, okay. Well, yes. So there we go. I don't know. You see it? That's pretty, Sparkling. that green roach. Yeah, thank you. And you know I love yours. <laughs> oh, well, yes. And I got this from Debbie's sale. Martha got it for me. It's just wonderful. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the hat that you found is just wonderful. I love this hat. That's so awesome. I, I saw it fast enough. <laughs> well, the, when I got my car work so, on the day, the, the guy stopped me just to tell me how much he loved my hat. And he said, you just don't see people in fedoras anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you like you have no idea. <laughs> so I'm excited to show this haul today. This um, came from a, an that. estate sale that was, yeah, it came from an estate sale that was um, just like a mile from my house. And I just happened to get online to see, I go to a estate sale finder to, you know, find what, what's going on in the neighborhood. And um, I saw this one, I thought, and they had some pictures posted over there. And it really was all it was the second day, so it was 25% off, and their prices were really reasonable. Like, I, what they had the price on, a lot of stuff, they only had three days to get ready for it. And this was, like I said, a day for, like, there's so much stuff. And um, so they couldn't possibly price everything in that amount of time and get it organized and it's somewhat out of the boxes that, you know, were there. I mean, even the garage was packed amazing that's amazing and of course when you get something that's 25 percent off that's always an exciting deal yeah and so when talking to um i just you know would ask him like kind of what range are we in for this and he'd be oh like a buck i'm like okay <laughs> so by the time all was said and done i brought it all up the register it was $75 for the whole haul. And so I thought, man, I did well. By the time I broke it down, that's, you know, amazing. So um, anyway, what would you like to see first? Some kitsch or I've got pottery, oh, yeah. ephemera. I got it all. Oh, that's good for the ephemera. That's always exciting. Okay. Hi, Kat. Thanks for joining. Hi, Kat. Good. Oh, I think we lost Debbie there. Debbie's having some Wi-Fi issues. Hi, Belinda. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, well, let's see. Okay. There you are. Debbie's back. Yay. 
Yeah, I was telling Kate I'm a little bit um, lacking on internet right now. Everything's a little bit uh, slowed down for me until um, I get a new provider. So anyway, but um, oh, Belinda's here. Hi, Belinda. Um, Hi, Shelly. This, I'm having. A Hi, Shelly. Thanks for coming. Um, I'm having a bling sale with Christine at Side Street Market, and that's on Tuesday on her channel, and that is at 5 p.m. And so this Ooh. brooch will be in the sale. Oh, um, I can't wait to go. That's exciting. Yeah, we've got some good stuff. So there's even some, I'm just going to let out the cat out of the bag. We've got a couple grab bags that will be amazing. <laughs> How exciting. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be good. So that side street market is the name of her channel. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Okay, so well, you want to see the ephemera first. These are yeah, just little names. Do you want me to put you in the box or do you want to stay like that? Yeah, put me in the box. That way we can see your items a little better. Hi Beth. Let's see layout. Hi Beth. All right, I'm in the box. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got these. They're just little um, name place cards, unopened, like 70s, 1970s stock. And then I got some amazing Easter cards. This oh. lady <laughs> absolutely loves, loves Easter. She's still alive, the lady. She's just going to live with her daughter. But look at that. That's an actual, like, Little flower. Still oh my there. gosh. Oh, yeah. I like a little bow tie and top hat. Yeah. Uh, there we go. But I mean, it's such a sweet little card for Valentine's. Look at all the grass. It's like all these pages. Oh my goodness. How cute. <laughs> yeah. So I have a whole box of different Easter cards. Um, I won't go through all of them, but I'll bring bring out some of them that are just really pretty. And they're all um, not used. They're unsigned. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at those. Sarah Lee. Sarah Lee's here. Hi, Sarah Lee. And Nanette, I think I missed you and Tina. Yeah. Welcome, everyone. Um, yeah, so... It was just a whole big box of cutie pie Easter cards. <laughs> They're just amazing. So anyway. The graphics uh, on these are yeah. just to die for. Uh, and these have like little sparklies on them and they're probably not showing up very well. Let's see, anything else? <laughs> They're just too cute. Look at his little beret. Oh, yeah. he's darling. So anyways, like I said, it's a there's probably over 30 cards in there. And um, I also got a book. Bethel like this. She loves books. So it's a Aww. Dr. Seuss, Are You My Mother? And it is... The, it says book club edition and it is copyright 1960. So I think that's the, the original. So are these uh, one of these Dr. Seuss books that are so sought after now because they've been quote unquote banned? Oh, you know what? I don't know if this is on the banned list or not. I'm not sure. You can have a $500 book there. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, because it's the book club edition, I don't know if that makes it less, you know, sought after or not, but really cute. Julie's saying that her kids love that book. Oh, really? Oh, I, I love Dr. Seuss. I just, I think it's so wonderful. Yeah, me too. I grew up on it. Me too. Okay. I got 
Too bad Tammy's not here from Vintage Uprising, Texas. Oh, she loves yeah, Raggedy Andy. And Andy. But it's the paper dolls. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oops. They're a little. Hang on. Let me make sure they're all in here. So she's like in her bed until you pull her out. And he's in his bed. I just stuck his clothes in front of him so it's a little hard to see. Um, uh, let's see. I have a little dress for her. I'm trying to like pull out clothes and I'm pulling it from his side. So I'm like, why are all the boy clothes? <laughs> that is a great find. You just don't see a lot of the paper dolls anymore in such good condition. Yeah, so she's just in her little bloomers. Oh. Put whatever dress on her. Really cute. That's but they, fun. They each have several outfits. And yes. uh, well, Linda, uh, Tammy collects all things Raggedy Ann and Andy. She loves that. Yeah, she's a big toy collector. Yeah, she is. She has a whole toy room in her house. It's pretty incredible. <sighs> she's the fun grandma. <laughs> yeah, and she lets her grandkids play with all her of her collectible toys. That's the back of it. Isn't it cute? I love the little gingham outfit that uh, I guess it's uh, Andy has on. I think that's darling. So, okay, then um, I've got this. You see that? It's a pop out. And they're little Easter. bunnies. And they, yeah, it's like a whole scene. It's made in Japan. It doesn't have a year on it. Um, made by Ambassador is the company. I think they oh, have a lot I've of heard cars of Ambassador. But I think I've opened an Ambassador. Up. Uh, Valentine's cards. Hang on, I'm trying to see which way he goes. I guess, I guess he goes like this. Can you see him? Oh, that is fabulous. Isn't it cool? Um, and um, you can set it, it, you can see it, oh, there it goes. It popped completely open now. You see that? Oh, I, I that. just think that's so sweet. I love the little bunnies putting out the eggs and helping each other. Yeah, <laughs> so you could totally like set this on the center of your table, and I'm sure that's what they used it for. And wouldn't so, that be fun on a lazy Susan on your table so you could rotate it around and see all the different scenes? Yes, I was saying that um, who is the gal that has the the um, rotating julie knows i think it's antiques by karen is that right yes janet he's her husband has built this whole incredible rotating display it's just absolutely amazing yeah she has a fun channel she really does tigers in the house <laughs> oh hi tiger hi tiger <laughs> and okay so there was another one Oh, it's a little carousel. Yeah. So I was, um, in case you missed it, if you're coming in a little bit later, I paid $75 for the whole sale. So it averages yeah. out about $2.30 an um, item. And it was 25% off. Yeah. Can you see that one? Oh, wow. Look at the colors on that. They're so vibrant. This little horse is turned up. Debbie, you're having a sale this Tuesday, right? With Christine at Side Street Market? Yes, and it's a bling sale. A bling jewelry sale, Sara Lee. Yeah, and this brooch will be in it. How fun. 
So, and then I got um, another item that was the Easter bunny. <laughs> and I um, looked inside at, when I got home and only the bunny is in there and not all these pieces. But I did find um, the form that had all these things in there. So I might try to recreate them just for me. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah. And he, so he's I'm gonna get rid of it. Honeycomb. Yeah. He's so cute. Oh, I love him. And the bummer is I saw the ears on the ground, like on, on the underneath the table, and it was in a Ziploc baggie, and it wasn't with this. And I thought, oh, that's weird. It's just some ears. So I kind of just passed <laughs> over it. Yeah. And then I went back the next day because it was 50% off the next day. And I thought, I'm going to go see. I'm going in the morning. I'll see if I can find those ears again. I couldn't find them anywhere. So. Oh, that's a bummer. But I went back with the $10 for Beth's uh, thrifting challenge that she has, the $10 thrifting challenge. So uh, Beth at Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties, if you haven't checked out her video, she's um, having a challenge and there's still plenty of time to get on it. Um, so check out her channel and that video. That will be a lot of fun. I, I really can't wait to see everybody's videos on that. Me too. Yeah, so she has a video explaining it. And um, if she has time, she might pop on here um, before maybe about uh, 20 minutes to the hour. She might pop on. Very so. exciting. Belinda's saying that she collects the honeycomb table toppers. Oh, she does. Well, darn it. I wish I would have got the pieces to that. Oh. <laughs> It happens. I've, I've left things behind too. And you think, Oh man, I think that went with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, so I picked this up and I didn't know what it was. Can you see that? It looks like a, a rock or a shell. Yeah. It's a rock and it's, I mean, not a rock, I'm sorry. It's pottery, but it looks like a little rock. And I thought it was a um, sloth. So I sent a, a video over, a video chat over to um, Michelle and um, at Newton's Cupboard because, you know, she collects sloths. And I'm like, oh, look what I found. I think it's something you might like. And she, <laughs> she sent me back this video. <laughs> and she goes, is that? And she goes, it looks like a, what did she call it? An Iraq? No, I can't remember what she called it. But it's like some weird creature. And <laughs> come to find out, I it says on the back that it's from Warwong Farms in Victoria, Australia. So I thought, <laughs> well, Nate is in New Zealand. Maybe he might have heard of this. You know, I know it's another country, but maybe he might have heard of it. So I sent him a picture and um, he got back to me and he's like, I've heard of them and um, it, it is kind of a, a known pottery there. So, but I looked it up and uh, yeah, it's an anteater. So maybe and someone out there collects anteaters. If you do, let me know. I'll work <laughs> you a deal. <laughs> well, that is cool. Um, Beth is saying that she won't be able to pop on probably because oh, she's yeah. working on getting her car back. Beth, I just went through all that today, so I understand. Oh, yeah. Hi, Sharon. Good to Hi, see you. Hi, Sharon and Bree. Hi, Bree. Oh, she's in Kansas. Nice. Okay. So I that's it for the ephemera. I did pick up this thermos, though. Oh, look at that. Oh, how yeah, fabulous. In great shape. It really is. It's kind of, it's a gray and white one. I don't know. The color might not be coming through. Um, but yeah, it's, it's in super good shape. So I was excited about that. I love the thermoses. And, you know, I, I rarely ever will pick up a doll, but I just thought this one was really cool looking. These people spent a lot of time in Denmark. They moved to Denmark and were there for years, according to the state sale people. And um, this is a storybook doll. 
She's just really cute. Oh, wow. I've heard of storybook dolls. Yeah, she's like made of that composite plastic where it's not, it kind of almost looks porcelain, but it's not, and it, it's not plastic. So I don't know, it's weird. She's nice because she's not a creepy looking doll. She's just pretty, you know? Oh no, yeah, she's got a super sweet face and it's not coming through very well here, but she's got pretty little lips and eyelashes. She's just really cute. And she's got a fun story. And, so and now I like that she'll never... Yeah. I love that she'll never lose on. <laughs> she is so fun. And, okay. So then I got this. Just This lady loved Easter. Like, oh, oh. crazy for Easter. Because she has lots of funny stuff. Isn't that, wouldn't that be great out in your patio? Yes, it would. Now, is that a flower frog? No, it's like for the light to come through from a uh, candle. Oh, it's candle a candle. Outside. Oh, I yeah, see the candle. It, oh, how fun. Yeah. And it, it says um, made in Taiwan, Republic of China. So it's a bit older. It I has love one those. little chippy one little chippy right there. That is cute. Yeah. So I'm all Martha. this. Who is it? Martha just came in. Vintage conversation. Oh, hi, Martha. You missed the Raggedy Ann. Oh, wait, she's not the Raggedy Ann. Who? It was um, Tammy. Tammy that likes her. Tammy yeah. is. What is Martha like? Martha collects sewing patterns. Yeah, she likes sewing stuff. I did pick up, I think she likes embroidery too. I got this sweet little lammy. Oh, this is as cute and as overload, folks. Cute? Look at him. Exactly, right? Um, it's yeah, just a little baby a pillow. Great like collection. Yeah, you could use this for like a little travel pillow, is what I was thinking, or a baby pillow. Oh, yes, and a nursery. How pretty would that be? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, a pretty little handkerchief. Very delicate. The amount of work that goes into those handkerchiefs then, or pillows are just, uh, it's astounding. Oh, yeah, it sure is. And then um, she likes silk scarves. There there were a lot of 100% silk scarves. Now, this one screams 80s to me, early 80s, I guess. Oh, that's fun. That? And um, it has the tag on it saying silk. And then this one's really pretty. This one's got cherries on it. Can you see the cherries? Oh, look at that. Oh, Michelle, comfy, cozy living and probably be losing her mind because it's cherries and it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's like a little ladybug and some water. I think those are supposed to be watermelon. Yeah, I think watermelon. Silk. Yeah, it's really pretty. And then there was one silk scarf that was or is Christmas. And can you see that? It's got like little, it looks Christmassy to me anyway. It does. It looks like holly leaves going around. Mm hmm So I got three silk scarves. Sarah Lee's asking if any of those are Vera scarves, V-E-R-A. Yeah. One of them was. I'm not sure which one. I think it was this one. Yes, the cherry one. Sarah Lee, mm -hmm. you're right on the money. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, so then I got 
two salt and pepper shakers. And the first one, let's see if I can do this without breaking them. It's been my scary thought the whole time, but look at these. They're two little birdies sitting on oh. their little perch. Hand painted. Hand darling. I've uh, never I've seen heard. ones like those. They don't have their stoppers, but those would be easily picked up. Yeah, yeah, Amazon and hardware stores have the stoppers for just a couple of cents. And I keep saying I'm going to pick some up, but look at the little perch. The work on that is gorgeous with those flowers. Yeah, and I think, you know, like I said, with them, the couple living and traveling Europe, um, I'm sure that's where a lot of this stuff has, you know, been picked up. Um Let's see these little babies. Oh, wait, I'll do the other salt and pepper shaker. I think these might be Shawnee, but they don't, you know, say it. So I'm not sure. They do look like Shawnee. Yeah. So oh, those are one. So Sorry, it's black Let me try to maybe I just pull it straight up. And then let's see. I think Debbie's frozen. Debbie, are you still there? I am. Can you hear me? I can hear you. You're just very frozen on my screen. <laughs> okay, now you're back. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, there's the second one. So that will be on the sale. Those are some great. Put these away before. Yeah. Um, and then I got these little babies. And the friend, these don't say, you know, where they were made. They are lighter weight, but I can't really tell. So, but they're cute. And those are salt and pepper shakers too? No, those are just little figurines. Oh, those are so cute for a shelf little vignette. Mm-hmm. And then I found these cutie pies. Let's see. You see it okay? I can see it pretty well now. Still a okay. little fuzzy, it's, but um, not too bad. Okay. There's two of them. They were sitting together. But um, the interesting thing is I thought they were a set. But when you turn them over and look at them, one of them is a Nesco made in Taiwan in 1986. And then this, the other one is Kensington fine porcelain uh, George Good. So, oh, totally different. Yeah, they're made totally different places, but they go together so well. That was just the strangest. The coloring, everything. I wonder if she had one and then the other one broke, so she got a replacement and they just happened to match. <laughs> I don't know, but the one um, from Inesco has the little flower on it. Um, you know, these are the ones that tend to, to break off right there, but it's in good shape. That is amazing. When I see uh, ducks like that, it always reminds me of friends with the chick and the duck that Joey and Chandler have. And I, right. I don't have an Inesco one, but I've got another little maid in uh, Taiwan one that's sitting outside my door with my little friend's display. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. And then some of you know that I like camel. Another handmade camel. I found one um, a couple weeks ago at an estate sale. And this one is very similar. Um, I think I want to replace the eyes and do like a jeweled eye. Because this is just oh, for me, and yeah, I, I really like cool. it. Yeah. 
but it's all hand stitched and everything. I just wish I knew where she got it. So it would no be sticker. amazing if we could get her number from the estate sale people and just chat with her about her, her life and her travels and her treasures. Yeah. I, I wonder, because like I said, she was just going to live with her daughter. Um, so maybe I could try. They also could say is no, right? Yep. That's right. Or maybe they could just give her my information. And if she felt like chatting, she could. Um, I got this little uh, slide finder. Oh, I love the green color. Yeah, look at the shape of it, though. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> the shape is fabulous. Yeah, I have a little slide finder. It's, um, but this one seems like it's made so much better than the other one. And it has, it came with the little replacement bulbs. So I don't know, I might end up keeping this one for myself and maybe selling the other one because I just like the looks of this one so much better. Yeah, so I, really that's fun. so mid-century. Isn't it? I just love the green. People are loving that in the chat. <laughs> Oh, are they? I should watch the chat a little more. <laughs> um, okay, so then I was wandering around and I went into the bathroom area, which a lot of times I don't tend to go into the bathroom area just because there's usually never anything in there I liked. And I'm so glad that I did because there was a piece of Fenton in there. Ooh, Fenton. And yeah, it's not showing up as pretty of a green as it is, but it glows. It glows. Wilders. So yeah, when I told you I paid $75 for everything, that means I paid $2.30 or $75 for everything. I paid $2.35 for each piece. I'm pretty excited about that. I mean, that is a fantastic deal. Yeah, I love estate sales. When they're good. You know, yeah, sometimes if you find a good company, if you find a good company and follow them, that's what I usually try to do. Um, I just kind of got back into going to estate sales when I, since I've been back here in Denver, now that a good company will be leaving here shortly. So, but I'll find something down there. <laughs> we don't have as many estate okay. sales here because I think that uh, people move from New York and get rid of a lot of their stuff already. But I, I definitely need mm -hmm. to go on the hunt because some uh, stuff that you guys are finding out in the community from estate sales is incredible. Yeah, it's the way to go. And then I know my girl, Julie, from Day Trip Vintage Co. will love this. Isn't that pretty? What's the design? Is it a flower design? Um, kind of, I guess. Yeah, I think you would call that some sort of flower. I'm going to try to shut my, um, give me just a second. I'm going to shut off my uh, light, my ring. Okay, we'll see if that helps a little bit. Yes, custard glass is awesome. It does surprise you that it glows. Maybe that's, you know what? That's better, isn't it? The yes, lighting. that's a little better. That yeah, is it's really white. pretty. It's white, Julie. Yeah, she loves white. Yeah, I thought that was beautiful. Is it, and is, I, it luster? is it what? Is it luster, Terry's asking? No. Uh-uh. It, it has a marking on the bottom, and... I'll try to post a picture on Instagram because maybe somebody will recognize this mark. You can't read it. It's illegible. It says something pottery, but it might be enough to somebody that knows this um, potter might be able to tell me who made it. So I'll do that. Hi, Judy. Welcome. And, hi, Judy. Okay, I'll do something for Judy because I know she's she loves little little littles. Look at this baby. Is that not cute? Oh, he's got big, fabulous eyes. 
Yeah. He is really cute. He's a little more um, rich in color than what's showing up here. But yeah, he's beautiful. No marking on the bottom. I don't know if he maybe once had maybe a, a shaker squeaker or something in him, but he's really sweet. No chips or cracks. Yeah, he's adorable. Just darling little guy. And there's Nate. Nate, I was just I talking about him a little while ago. Yes, we were, Nate. All good things, I promise. <laughs> yeah, right. We were talking about that little um, anteater thing that from that war, whatever it was, farms in Australia that you helped me out with. <laughs> oh, Judy's saying that he's a rimple and that she has him. Oh, really? A rempel? Rempel is very nice. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Judy. See, you learn something every day. <laughs> that's right. I like the hive mind in our community. We can really all help each other out. And then she had this. Like I said, she absolutely loves Easter, this lady. I'm sure it was oh, hard for her to be so cute. Isn't he cute? I think he's like playing a fiddle or something is what it looks like. And I love his little like party hat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I did get another set of salt and pepper shakers. I forgot about. They were hiding in the back. They're little fish. Oh, Vinny would love those fish. Yeah. And the one little baby has a flea bite or chip chippy on the tail there. But I still liked him, and I picked him up. And that one fish, the way his face is, he he looks a little indifferent. He's kind of like, I'm just here hanging out. <laughs> right? So funny. Okay, and then I saw this, like, in the bottom of a box, and I grabbed it. Look at that. It's one of those clickers. Oh, wow. The noisemakers. And these oh, go and for good money. And it's Halloween. It's Halloween. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. Those, those do really well online. Mm hmm Yep. And it has the USA mark on it. So, yeah. That was cool. Belinda's saying, give us a clown alert, please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Belinda, <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm in the no clown club with you, too. And Misty. <laughs> but he's a bunny clown. Doesn't he get a little pass? Yeah, he's okay. I didn't even notice that he was clownish on the bottom. I was just enjoying his yeah. little adorable hat. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got a little cutie. He's still in the package from 1974. Oh, Christy Garza needs that. <laughs> oh, does she? She collects Cupid dolls. I didn't realize that the Cupid dolls had the little wings on the back of their heads. They're little teeny tiny wings. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, it has little wings. And that Cupid's got some Miss Pam side eye going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> so let's see. What else do I have here? Okay, there's this pretty little. I'm going back and forth from dish to not. <laughs> oh, yes, wings, Bree says. Uh, um, Beth so, at Carolina Sweet Treats and Pretties. And she's got a video up on her channel that explains how to do it, and it's really fun. I've already filmed mine, but there's still plenty of time. You can upload your uh, videos and they don't go live until I think it's, is it the 17th? Let me check my notes. If Beth's still here, she'll tell us. Uh, let's see, Tuesday, June 16th at 7 p.m. Your video needs to go live if you want to be um, on the playlist. And then, uh, which is a really good way to get your channel out there too, because a lot of people will see that and then, um, you know, be interested maybe in more of your videos. So the collaborations are good. Um, and oh, this Bev little is joining in. Hi, Miss Bev. 
Um, and then I didn't say that this one was made in Japan. So Ms. Deb, this is all um, stuff that I got from a haul at an estate sale and I paid $75 for the whole thing. So that's what we're doing here. And then I picked up these boxes. These are just old um, Czech glass. I think it says Bohemi, Bohemi Unique. Ooh. Something, I don't know. I just thought the boxes were so cool. I got I three love of them. the boxes. Yeah. And is so the glass I don't know. What's that? Is there glass inside of it or just the boxes? It was just the boxes. So, but I thought these would be really good maybe on some of the um, higher end brooches that I sell, you know, the more expen expensive ones, they'd be nice to put in a box like this. So that was whole oh, that would be perfect. Yeah. And you could use those boxes as a base. Also, once you use them for the brooches, you could use them as a base for an assemblage. Oh, that would be good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You're, oh, Beth says you are doing better than several of us. I've tried a couple of times and either I haven't spent enough or spent way more than $10. <laughs> well, like I said, I went back to this estate sale the second time and um, I actually came up to the register and she told me it was like $12.50. So I ended up putting three things away back i held back and she said okay that's ten dollars <laughs> oh that's so perfect so um look at that little kokeshi it's on a little uh, it's on a pencil oh how fun is that so i picked up a lot of these smalls because i did two mystery boxes and they were really fun to put together and i thought some smalls go great in um mystery boxes they do. Mystery boxes are great for small items. And look at that little bunny. Very oh. tiny. The bunnies are just so cute. I, I can't help it. I love I bunnies know. and mice. And I, I just have a thing. Yeah, I know. This lady did too. Um, so this is a little metal egg. I've never seen the little metal eggs. I've seen them before, but not that often. Do you think that's probably from the 1950s? You know, I bet Julie might know. Julie, do you know from Day Trip Vintage Co? She's she's kind of into this stuff, this kind of stuff, I think. She the she metal pin type well, things. I don't know if she does metal, so maybe she wouldn't know, but it looks like I would think maybe 1950s. Anybody know? <laughs> it just Anyone? has that look. Yeah. Okay. Is Tiger still here? <laughs> Bass says, look, I'm not opposed to bending the rules a little do more than one transaction, as long as one of them is only $10. <laughs> oh, Terry's saying he thinks 1960s. Okay, Terry. Oh, okay. Um, I got a little tiger. Oh, perfect for tiger. He, now, he needs a little purple ribbon. Yeah, oh, wouldn't that be cute? So this is this made in Hong Kong on the side. That's pretty old. Like I said, I just picked up a bunch of these. I threw a lot of smalls in a box and, you know, they kind of just added up as one thing. So I usually do pretty well putting stuff in little boxes like that. And Julie says she's been hunting for a little metal egg. Julie has? Yep. All right. I'll keep that in the back of my head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now these were really interesting. Look at that. And it's a pin. Oh, wow. And it, I, wonder, it, I think it's real hair, real animal hair. I was going to just say, I wonder if it's real animal hair. Wow, look at that. 
Isn't that cool? And then here's his buddy. <laughs> a little squirrel. Yeah. But handmade. I bet they picked this up in Europe somewhere. It totally looks like it. It does. It looks very Austrian to me. <laughs> and then here's a little hand-carved dog. These smalls are just a lot of fun. Aren't they? And then there's a whole little box of made in Hong Kong. There's a little lady, little chicken farmer. Let's see if it goes better. Now, I wonder Kong. where the lady had all of these displayed. Like, did she have all the little animals together in a little group? <laughs> And like, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like chickens and um, roosters and there's just a whole set of them. Yeah. Small balls are so fun. That's what Sarah Lee said. Yes, they are. And there's like the little, and these are all made in Hong Kong. They have the, they say it on the bottom. My friend, when we see a pig, she always says, oh, there's a little oink oink. <laughs> Cute. All right. Okay. Now here is, I think, my favorite thing. Like kitschy. Look at him. <laughs> He's one of Look those at him. Um, and he, when you roll him, like you know, he kind of goes up and down a little bit. Oh, now that's just darling. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Look at the tail. Oh, yeah. man, that is to die for. I love this thing. And you know what? I think I have to keep it for one Easter. And then maybe after next Easter, I'll get over it. But, yeah, he's got to be. No, I year. think you got, you got to keep him. He's fabulous. <laughs> yeah. I'm really liking Easter. So. Well, the colors are just so bright and happy, you know? Right. Yeah. And, you know, coming out of uh, winter to spring, you kind of just want, want and need that. You do, yeah. I picked up this little print. Ooh, and um, isn't it beautiful? And it says Paris uh, La Madeleine, M-A-D-E-L-E-I-N-E. -E. And it's, you know, put in here really nicely framed nicely but yeah I just thought that was beautiful so I'll find a place for that and when I'm done loving it it'll go on a live sale I think that's just so nice and the frame is is really I love how they they've got that frame yeah it's nice and I just have a few more things on here let's see oh okay so I got this new in the package new old stock it's a cruel set for ornaments, and you can make the three ornaments that are circled right there. But it's oh, never been opened. What a great little project for being stuck at home these days. Yeah, and it had, I think, did it have the year on it, or I looked it up. I think it was like 1970-something, 78. But, yeah, new in the package. Very cool. That's awesome. Now, see, I would not have the patience for that kind of thing, but I know lots of other people do. And yeah. it would be fun to see those completed. And you, you'd have to post that on Instagram if you do. And then, of course, you got to have a little bit of tacky, you know, as Daniel says. <laughs> tacky is me. Oh, man. So yeah. there's. Yeah. All right. Isn't that fun? Trash and there's pocket. like there's three of them. I don't know where you could hang them from somewhere, but there's three of them. Is that a little mistletoe and an apple? Yeah, I think so. I don't know why and the mistletoe the is on the apple, but I like it. Yeah, it's uh, and it's the fuzzy. <laughs> oh, it's blocked. Yeah, blocked. Oh, fun. So. Yeah, all of that, you guys, for 75 bucks. I was more than happy to pay that. Oh, I think you got a fabulous bargain. 
Yeah, me too. Thank you, Katie. Um, but uh, I also wanted to say tonight, um, Vintage and Vino, they're going to have a haul and a chat too. And that's at 8 o'clock Eastern time. So if um, you're around, if you haven't checked out their channel, it's really fun. They, um, they are in Arizona. And um, it's husband and wife, Jerry and Tim, right? Tim. Yes. And um, I always want to put Tom and Jerry. <laughs> and they, uh, most of their videos are all together. They have been also doing some uh, shopping with other people in the community, and they go with Tiger a few times. So that's pretty cool. Oh, that is awesome. I would love to meet everybody. Yeah. Ti Tigers is Tigers, Tigers Timeless Treasures. And hi, Chicago lady. And so, um, anyways, they'll be on at 8 Eastern tonight. So pop on and see them if you can. What else is going on? Is there anything else going on tonight? Uh, Patrick, Trusty Huckster Mercantile, has a sale at 8 o'clock, I believe. Mm -hmm. And Nancy, I don't know if Nancy at this overstuffed house is feeling better from her back injury, but she usually has a sale uh, after at 11. And I think Melanie, uh, Serendipity by Melanie, is having more of her brooch sales tonight. Oh, okay. I think that um, that Nancy's taking a break right now because she wasn't doing too well. She hurt her back. Yeah, she was really, really down and out, I know. And I'm sorry. She, I think she's on bed rest. So keep her in your prayers and your thoughts, definitely. Yeah, she didn't look too good from her video that she had. No, I felt so horrible because I know how painful that must be and how scary. And I yeah. just feel for her. And um, like I said, on Tuesday, I'll be having my sale with Christine on her channel at Side Street Market. And that is at 5 o'clock Eastern time. So check out Side Street Market and subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notification. And I'm just trying to do some little um, smalls right now because we're getting up to the point where we're going to be packed out and leaving Colorado and headed down south. We're going to be in an RV, in our RV for a while. And um, we may be in the Casa Grande area and then maybe going up to Flagstaff to cool off a little bit because it's going to be hot down there. <laughs> and um, so that's kind of our plans. Let's see what else is going on. Um, oh, so every other week at this time slot, Beth from uh, Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties, she's going to be doing something. And if she's not doing something, I'll be doing something on at this on my channel at this time slot. So we're kind of tag teaming it right now um, so that we both can't really commit to a full time slot, but we're going to share it together for now. So um, just kind of know that that's our date and time and we'll be doing something next week. She's having a live sale. And so that's uh, Saturday, June 5th at that right. No, that's Saturday, June 5th. Why do I have that? Is she in here? I knew it she says, and sometimes we'll do it together. <laughs> yes, that's right. I had this written down. I think she's doing one on Saturday at noon. She's having a live sale. Well, that's going to be very exciting. And if I'm wrong, Beth, just let me know. <laughs> There's so much happening in the community. It becomes hard to keep track of it all, but I'll definitely yeah. go follow uh, the calendar. Uh, Angela Marksbury's calendar will have everything put together for you. And she Saturday. says, Saturday the, the 5th, I'm having a live chat with Catherine Young. Yeah, that's right. That's her creator, cre creator chit chat that she does. Which is so, very exciting. Yeah. If you haven't watched those, they're really good. So, Well, they are. And she, when she had Dolores on, it was just so lovely. I love getting to see Dolores from England. Yeah, Dolores, hers is, um, what's her Miss channel? Miss Dam Jewelry. Yeah, Miss Dam Jewelry. I love that. <laughs> um, and then, let's see, on that, then Tuesday is my sale with, with um, like I said, with Christine on Side Street Market. Then June 10th is Thursday is a live sale that Beth's having. That's her, her one. So that's the next Thursday. 
Oh, fun. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going on there. And Very then, exciting. Do you have any more in your, um, oh, damn is her initials. I didn't realize that. <laughs> That is very cool, Beth. I, I always I think someone had told me that, but for a while I thought it was like Miss Damn Jewelry, and I thought, oh, that's kind of fun and funky. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have another um, one for your brooches? Your another part part of your series? You're doing one. For Yes, next week I'll be continuing my brooch series. So if you haven't been following along, I've been sharing my brooch collection. And it is pretty massive. <laughs> so I just finished case one uh, this week. And there's already two videos out on that case. And I've got four cases filled to the brim with brooches, those little uh, vintage mealy jewelry boxes. So I'll be doing the next case next week. So that will be fun. I'm excited to do more of that and okay. share those with you. Yeah, if you haven't seen those um, Katie's videos, jump on her channel, Vintage Vinyl, and um, look at the, the brooch ones that she just aired because they're very interesting. And I love the stories of where you got them from and, and your grandma and your mom and all that. It's pretty cool. It is. And yes, Beth, I'm still doing the, the live reading. So if you are... Uh, following along with that, I've been reading House of Flesh, which is a 1950s schmutt book that I got from Misty. So I'm reading that on Mondays uh, now at 6.30. And then I've got uh, the show and tell series as well that's live on Wednesday, along with my regular weekly content that I have, my vintage and vinyl videos that come out like normal. Yeah, and I see Nancy jumped on um, yeah, let us know. Yeah, let Anybody, us know. Uh, wants to put I hope you're feeling better. Yes, Anybody Beth. Wants to put links yeah. to their sales. Go ahead and do that. Sorry, we're running over each other. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're freezing on my end, so I'm trying not to talk over you. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. I don't know. It's just bad internet today, I guess. Oh, uh, Nancy saying that she's very sore and her sister came and helped her, but she's wiped out. Okay, Nancy, I understand. Yeah. We're just all thinking about you and praying for you and hoping that you get back uh, to the, on your uh, road to recovery very soon. And get to your spunky self back. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and and let's see what what else is coming up. Um, just that thrifting challenge. So make sure you get your ten dollars ready and go film your. You can actually. I think she'll. She said you could either like do um, a shop with me and then the thrift. I mean, then the um, haul. Or you could just do the haul portion of it, whatever you want to do, but just spend the $10 and, and post it, see what you can get for $10. It'd just be fun to see what everybody comes up with. That will be fun. I'm really looking forward to that. And I hope I can join in on that. Our thrift stores yeah. aren't particularly good here, but I would love to find uh, something for $10 or a, a grouping of things would be awesome. Yeah. Well, I um, think our hour is up, so uh, we're going to skedaddle here. But um, some, let's see, I just want to see Sarah Lee was saying she's posting vi she's posting photos on her Instagram with my receipt. Oh, good. Oh, fun, Sarah Lee. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> All right. Well, if you um, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Our Vagabond Travels and to Katie's channel, Vintage and Vinyl. And uh, we will see you next time. Yes, and, like and we'll see it, of course, in the chats tonight. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye, friends. Bye.